everybody. 10 o'clock, Doug Dunbar and the crew. Fans a little bit on edge tonight as many attend high school basketball games. This just days after a shooting took place at a game. Andrea and Lucia is going to start us off over at the Cobb Fieldhouse in Dallas. And love to hear more about these security changes in place already that have taken place as early as tonight, I guess, right? Yeah, it started tonight. Now, for one week, people are not being allowed to bring bags, any kind of bags, into Dallas ISD games. One change, though, that is expected to be more permanent are these metal detectors here that everyone will have to walk through. High school basketball games throughout Dallas ISD, parents, coaches, and fans are finding heightened security. Stop me, like, taking off all of, you know, Michelle Wilson usually comes to watch her son play with his younger brother at her side. Tonight, she's here alone and doesn't mind a bit of inconvenience. But it made me feel a little bit more secure, you know, with everything that went on, because that was really scary. Dallas police say a 15-year-old now in custody brought a gun to a game last Saturday, shot an 18-year-old and grazed a Dallas ISD police officer. And that's probably one of the worst experiences as a person and as a chief. Dallas ISD's police chief John Lawton says he's not sure how the gun was carried in, but the incident has prompted a review of the district's security measures. High school sporting events will all have officers present, but some will have more than others. We've identified those schools that um, we feel uh, may present more challenges. I love it. Willie Ford said the added safety measures are the reason he's here watching his nephew tonight. At first, I was a little, a little hesitant, hesitant about coming, but when I heard about the security, uh, you know, I brought my grandson with me. Who's well, next week, the district will go back to allowing clear bags into the games. All of them will also be searched. Chief Lawton said, you know, they, the, the district wants its buildings to feel welcoming. They don't want people to feel like they are walking into a jail. But security does come first. Reporting live here in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Boy, it's scary to see after that video. Andrea, thank you for the update. We appreciate it.